to roll up to the start of the grid. And once again, it unfortunately, looks like Gareth Roberts has gone slightly too far <laughs> forward. So, uh, again, a few people being caught out <laughs> by that, and it is very understandable. It is. But uh, a decision was but made by Rachel. Do you know I so. want to know, Dan, just before they get underway? There's double yellow lines there, so how can they park on the grid before the start of the race? Well, yeah, well, we're at, we're, we'll go into that in a uh, different moment. But we are about to get underway. Oh, oh, down the back of the grid, we've got the, the 77 doing the markers. That's Callum Beach going the wrong way up the track to take his position on the grid. As but we're ready for a start. As you'd say. Kiko is all up and in air, but we are about to get ready for the first race of the Extreme 200s, the final race of Saturday. The red lights are on now, and Gareth Roberts looking up with the tinted visor gets underway. A decent start, a bit of a jump though, and it's a great start from Alex Vela, I believe, who leaps well and truly into first place into turn number two for the first time out of 12 through the S's leaning one way than the other but everyone almost a bit of understeer from a few people almost coming to blows into the chicane for the first time however turn four a little bit more secure and Alex Vela a great start after Gareth Robertson initially great getaway and has recovered from it subsequently but just a bit of a leap too much a bit of a wheelie through left through two right handers for the first time out of 12 and Gareth Roberts is determined to get the lead back as they cross the line for the first time. Alex Vela leads, Gareth Roberts right in behind him. Who's it going to be? The 2-1-2 two, two, chasing the 6-2-1. So we're going to have fun with them numbers when we start getting on in this race. But at the moment, Roberts chases Vela. That's second and third. Oh, up into third place goes. Will Howard pushes Josh Ingram aside. So the 4-1-4-7 four, four, of Josh Ingram. B gets demoted into fourth place. Brandon Payne is in fifth place. Max Cook, I think, is giving them all half a lap. He's out the back of the grid here and not making progress, but I wouldn't take that too seriously. Gareth Roberts all over, climbing all over the back of Alex Vela. If he gets any closer, he'll be able to smell his aftershave. Through top bend, they come down the straight, and now, looking under his shoulder, goes Alex Vela, who looks under the wrong one, because Gareth Roberts alongside him on the other side, down into turn two, no moves made. Well, Max Cook, the British Talent Cup rider, suddenly knows how to ride motorcycles very, very efficiently and effectively. So uh, maybe he's just going out there for a bit of fun and then uh, unleashes an attack all of a sudden. Into turn four then for the third time now. And Gareth Roberts, the 2 on 2 fastest lap on the last lap, looking around the right-hand side, the outside line at turn five, trying to take as tight a line through six and seven, the right-handers. It can pay off if you go a bit wider to try and get a bit more traction but Gareth Roberts looking extremely capable the last lap of 40.7 over the line they go now and it is a 40.8 and a 40.8 for Vellum and Roberts Brandon Payne down in fifth place with the new fastest lap with a 40.7 so very competitive and close so far but it is Alex Vella who runs a little wide through the chicane, almost gets it stopped. Gareth oh. Roberts having a bit of a look, but it's gone very, very deep. And Roberts makes the uh, best of a mistake from Alex Vella, who just couldn't quite get it stopped and had a bit of understeer. Alex Vella was backing that one in there. He was trying to park it, couldn't quite get it down to an apex. That's given Gareth Roberts an inch. He took a mile and down into top bend they go now. Gareth Roberts leads. Will Alex Vella be able to fight back? Will Howarth is in third place and closing all the time. Fourth and fifth. Josh Ingram had a Brandon Payne. Will Howarth, the fastest lap by about half a second. So this race, just because Gareth Roberts has gone into the lead, is not quite done with yet. Who's it going to be? It's going to be very, very close as they go through turn number four, the right-handed hairpin called Hands. The uh, next couple of corners are up to Horseshoe, the left-handed hairpin as well, uh, for reasons we don't particularly need to explain. Maybe because why. it's a horseshoe. It looks shaped like a horseshoe, but through the next set of corners, and Alex Vela dropped behind Roberts and dropping back. Will Howarth really in the clutches now, pulling to the right-hand side, looking one way, looking the other. Couldn't quite make it through. Turns one and two, a bit of a target, but not quite close enough to make a move but he is certainly close enough to hound him as much as he can through the S's over the right, over the left, throwing the bike from one direction to another. And a little bit further behind, Brandon Payne is a bit of a cork in a bottle as up the inside goes Josh Ingram at turn number four. Couldn't quite get it stopped. And this is the difficulty now where you can catch up and you can try and make a move, but Clay Pigeon, you have to be a bit brave to make an overtake, especially through the final two right-handers that Vela and Howarth are going through, second and third. The gap was 0.7 on the last lap between Roberts and Vela. It's now going to be over second, I reckon. In fact, 1.066. What I guess that was for uh, 
Vela in second, though, probably not enjoying that number quite so much. Will Howard half a second quicker again? Just looked at the bottom of the timing screens. Max Cook is in this race, the 685 at the back of this field is Blake Ansell, who, of course, was a regular last year. He's about to be lapped as they come through the horseshoe. Alex Vela's got company here. Will Howarth is really trying to start to push through. I think Gareth Roberts may well have just broken clear. I do think now, unless Will Howarth can make a move before half race distance, that we're going to see Gareth Roberts take a victory. I think Max Cook has just gone out just to add even more confusion to the situation, but never mind. Gareth Roberts, Alex Vela, Will Howarth. Again, a fastest lap from Will Howarth. So he is really pushing on here. It's very competitive indeed, and I think that being behind Alex Vela for quite so long, he's not going to be enjoying it for that much longer. As lovely the white and red livery is, the all-black superbike bodied, effectively, bike is uh, really not going to be wanting to be in the position they are in for much longer. Fourth place and fifth place, the battle between Ingram and Dufton for fifth and sixth through the final couple of corners as well, looking incredibly close. But side by side for second place. Oh, Crusher at the last corner, who is that? Look to we me. We don't know, we don't know. We'll find yeah, out in just a few moments, Brandon but... Peril because the yellow leathers kind of give it away. Jamie King has gone up the positions. Brandon Peril is dropping down our timing screen. But uh, a shame there for that rider, but Robert's still in the lead of the race, has managed to get past Max Cook, which in itself is a bit of a feat, I'm told. But uh, Vela and Howarth still gonna go side by side to turn number five, and Howarth using the right-hand lines as best as he can, trying to get the speed on, but just couldn't quite get the uh, speed on. The bike at uh, the final corner trying to be restarted, but the yellow flag's there temporarily whilst that's going on. But with uh, five laps left to go, people still streaming through underway and it is the 146 of Brandon Peril who uh, does go through thumps the bike he's not particularly happy you can imagine but through the S's goes the battle for the uh, overall lead as well as uh, a few other positions but Gareth Roberts a secure, uh, a secure win at the moment 2.4 seconds to the good Will Howarth just got mired a bit in traffic there. He just He's lost a bit of contact with Alex Vela. Still five laps to go. Plenty of time to try and make some ground up. But I just feel that maybe now we'll see the likes of Alex Vela just try and secure that second place. Will Howarth just not quite there yet. But Brandon Payne is starting to close in on that battle as well. With three tenths of a second quicker on the last lap as opposed to Will Howarth. And Ben Pascoe, I think, has uh, dropped back due to a bike issue, trying to uh, actually walk it back into the paddock. So a shame there. Side by side for Gareth Roberts. He's having a bit of fun just trying to stream through the uh, other riders within this race. But Alex Vela is really soaking up pressure now, not from one, but from two. Side by side, as I think someone else has gone down yeah, at turn number five. five. Horseshoe. And we'll wait to see until we uh, uh, get back to you with identifying yeah, that bike. But it was sure side by is. side for... Vela and Howarth, but Brandon Payne also getting involved in the battle as well. It's looking incredibly competitive throughout the field. Through the S's they go once again. There is only three laps left to go, and Alex Vela really is suffering a little bit from the pressure. Elliot Dufton was the crash. The 441 has gone down at turn five. That's what we was just mentioning a moment ago. Oh, Alex he's... Vela has got Will Howarth right on him now. We got traffic as well who in fact i don't know that no that's traffic? brandon payne it's, it's side traffic. by side brandon three payne. way battle there my goodness me that was incredibly close they went three abreast going into the second and final corner the right hander that really does take some guts but in somehow in all of the chaos side by oh, side brandon peril forces man. his way up the inside on the left hand side through past will howard who is not going to be happy with that at all and alex vela is going to be the next one on the list shifting their way now over two different ways through the S's. This is going to be another side-by-side -side into turn number four. My goodness me, Brandon Peril has got the bit between his teeth and he does not want third, he wants second. Yeah, they can't pass, so at turn five, so there goes one opportunity. Oh, but he has, but he has, so will there be? Is that more the approach, though? I'm, I want to question, I think that's more the approach into turn five. That may well be, he, um, it was Brandon Payne getting Alex Vela on the exit, so maybe that will not matter Gareth Roberts is off and running with this. There is no way he's going to be caught unless he makes a mistake. Brandon Payne, second. Alex Vela, third. 
No, oh, is he? Oh, Will Howard had a huge lunge there, not making it work. It's the last lap and just a few more corners to go. And whilst Josh Ingram now gets in there as a four-way scrap for second place, only a handful of corners left to go. What is not in doubt, though, is the leader of this race. Gareth Roberts has pretty much dominated this race, the final race of the day here on Saturday, and he's going to make his way over the line now. The 2-1-2 takes an emphatic victory, waves to the fans standing by the end. But we don't know who's going to be second, who's going to be third. It's almost going to be Alex Vela who does retain. Uh, third place, Brandon Payne was and did come over the line in second. Alex Vela, third, just ahead of Will Harris. It's 0.177 over the line. Uh, Josh Ingram taking fifth place, sixth for Craig Walker as they all stream their way now over. Uh, Jamie King, the 76 in seventh. Callum Beach, 77 in eighth, ahead of Ryan Gaines and Brandon Perrell. Blake Ansell, Ian Jackson, Elliot Dufton, Ben Pascoe. Max Cook in 15th with the fastest lap in that, a 39.441, the only person to go into the 39s.